Good afternoon. On behalf of AppCore Systems, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us today for the webinar on the topic of the Sugar to Facebook connector, a new module created by the engineers of AppCore Systems. In today's webcast, we're going to be taking a look at a new module built specifically for the Sugar CRM platform and discussing the functionality of it. In developing the Sugar to Facebook connector, we had to identify exactly what issue needed addressing. The problem identified was how to improve and capture social interaction among users and do so in a seamless manner. We wanted to develop something that would allow people to record the various interactions and potential opportunities that they had while using Facebook without the hassle of having to log hours of tedious data entry in order to achieve the same outcome. We wanted it to be an application that potential users could easily see the value in and then use in the daily operations of their business. The term CRM was first used about 10 years ago and was intended to represent a single view of the customer across sales, service, and marketing. But the reality is that it's become a lot more than that. Employees are now spending more time using Facebook than they are in professional platforms such as Sugar CRM. Just to give you an idea of the social reach, Facebook currently has more than 800 million users, which is more than Sugar, Salesforce, and Oracle combined. So it's easy to see the traditional CRM has evolved and now includes a social component as well. What we've seen as the key to success has been determining how to utilize the social channel in a way that is seamless and provides value and is not viewed as simply data entry. The solution was realized in the Sugar to Facebook connector, which I'll demonstrate shortly. There are two components to the connector, the first being an application that lives inside Facebook and must be added by the user. The second is a module that must be installed to the Sugar side as well. Once both of these components are in place, the connector will then sync between the two systems, not only people but events and interactions as well. Shown here is an overview of the functionality available within the connector. First, we're going to focus on the contacts feature. While in Facebook, contacts can be created and then also added within Sugar CRM. Additionally, Sugar activities can be viewed and tasks can be created. While in Sugar, you will be able to view the contacts Facebook profile, wall posts, and events, and you can even post directly to their wall. Now let's take a look at the event management tool. Users can create events and fan page events in Facebook, and the details, including the attendee information, will be transferred into Sugar. In Sugar CRM events, you can quickly add attendees to Facebook events and create Sugar campaigns, as well as maintain an event calendar. Now I'm going to share my screen with you and show a demonstration of the functionalities that we just covered. For today, we're going to pretend that my name is Stephen Kasman and that you're now viewing my personal Facebook page. You'll notice the Facebook app is installed on the left side of the page under Apps. It's going to pull up the Sugar CRM login where I'm going to enter my Sugar CRM credentials. It's going to pull up my list of contacts that are Facebook friends but also synced with Sugar Records. You can view the interactions with the chosen contact. For example, Jonathan Galt, I'm going to choose to view his interactions. So we can see that there was a dinner meeting that took place on March 2nd, as well as a follow-up meeting that's scheduled for May 31st. You also have the option to create a new interaction. For example, I want to create an interaction with Jessica Williams. Jessica and I are going to meet for a brainstorming session. And I'm going to change the interaction type to a coffee date because we're going to be meeting in a coffee house. The interaction hasn't yet happened. It's going to be taking place next week. And you can set the status. You have the option as not started if it's a future meeting in progress or if it's a series of meetings or completed. So this is in the future so I'm going to put not started. Within the notes section any notes posted can be viewed within the sugar record. If you don't want them viewable then you can choose to make the note private. If I want to add a Facebook friend to my Sugar account, I can simply type their name in here. It will automatically populate any of my Facebook friends with this same name. I 
can then click to add my friend. It's going to give me this box where I can enter in additional details. Now Facebook does have stringent privacy rules, so you're not going to be able to copy an email address or other things of that nature, but you'll have to put it in manually. Now it's saving Marcy to sugar. If you receive an error message that says, this person may already exist, you can click to associate. It simply means that they already have a record, and in order to refrain from duplicating records, you can choose to associate them with the person that it shows, and it's gonna merge the information together. Now I'm gonna exit out of Facebook and log into my sugar account. When you log into sugar, you're gonna be taken to your homepage. On the right side of the screen, you're gonna see any activity that you've had. On the left side of the screen, you should see your contacts. If you want to link existing Sugar contacts with their Facebook profiles, you can click on the Contacts tab and search for a new record. So I'm going to search for a friend named Amy. Once I've found the friend that I want to link to Facebook, I'm going to click their name and it's going to bring up Amy's record page. When I click link to Facebook, it shows a pop-up box. I can type the name in here and it's going to populate any of my Facebook friends that have this same name. So we want to click Amy's profile and we're going to click link and it's going to link her sugar profile with her Facebook profile and all of the information will be synchronized between Sugar CRM and Facebook. Now I'm going to switch back to Facebook and we're going to look at the second major piece of the application which is events. Now that I'm back in Facebook, I'm going to go back to the Sugar to Facebook connector. I'm going to put my credentials back in. And now we're going to go to the Events tab. In the past, if an event was planned in Facebook, you would have to go back and manually enter all of the contact information into Sugar for those who attended. As you can imagine, this task was extremely tedious and time consuming. What you're looking at now is my personal Facebook event that I've planned. And as you can see here, it's not yet synced to Sugar. So I'm going to click here to add this event to Sugar. I can update any of the information, but I'm going to leave it just as it is. I'm going to click Save. And it's going to sync this Facebook event that I created, and it's going to put it as a sugar event as well. Now it's showing us here that we've created the event, and the attendance has been updated. Three of my attendees are already in sugar, but there's one that's not. So we can go to the event within sugar and associate the attendees with their existing sugar contacts. So as you can see, it's moved it from a personal Facebook event up here and moved it down here to a Facebook event that's synced with Sugar. So anything that I can do within the Contacts view, I can also do in the Events view as well, meaning that I can view the Facebook wall for the event and it's going to populate a viewing box to show any post related to the event. I can also post a wall message to all of the attendees thanking them for joining us and it's going to make a record of this interaction within Sugar. I made the post in Facebook. Now I'm going to minimize Facebook and go back into my Sugar login. So once you're back in Sugar, you can click to view events. Here's our networking dinner party. You can do the same functions in Sugar that you can in Facebook. You can view event information, you can view the Facebook wall, you can make a wall post and you can sync any attendees that need to be synced between Sugar and Facebook. One of the biggest time savers that this application can do is in looking at each attendee who may not already be an existing contact in Sugar. Now what I want to do with the attendees is either create new contacts with their records or associate them with existing records. And as mentioned earlier, you can see that we have three attendees who are already in Sugar, but we also have one who's not already in Sugar. So I'm going to click the match button it's going to look at every record and then match it with the possibility of any existing records. 
So when you view here, if there's any possible matches, they're going to show in this area right here. Now nothing's been populated, which means there's not already a record in, the, in Sugar for Lee. So we're going to click this option to create a new record. So this has also been integrated with Sugar Campaigns as well. I can choose to email all of the attendees for the event. I can email everyone who has indicated that they will be attending or any, email anyone who's indicated that they will not be attending. Any of the emails that I send it's going to create a new campaign within Sugar and gives me the option to send. So that's the new Sugar to Facebook integration for Sugar CRN. I'd like to take the opportunity again to say thank you on behalf of AdCore Systems. Feel free to contact us directly if you have any questions regarding the Sugar to Facebook connector or would like more information about any of the products or services available from AdCore Systems. Thank you and have a great day.